Hi, this is Pramit Kumar Senapati, GDNT consultant, and in this video training series, I am going to discuss and talk in a lengthy video series about geometric tolerance in symbols and terms. So what I have done is I have splitted this whole lengthy video training series into more than 10 small small videos so that you can easily watch inside my video channel and search by using the terms and understand the terms and conditions how I have explained and you can utilize that and apply that over your parts and assembly. So let me start with the goals and objectives. So we will understand 8 key terms and how they affect the interpretation of a drawing through GDNT and also we will be discussing about modifiers like MMC, LMC and RFS and many others and also symbols that we are going to use inside the geometric tolerance. Let us discuss about features. So a feature is a general term which many times you use inside GDNT for interpreting and for understanding and decoding the real scenario, the physical portion of a part such as a surface, a hole, maybe any kind or maybe a slot or you can say typically the thickness also. An easy way to remember this term is to think of a feature as a part surface. So if you can see this particular part and you may wonder what is the features. But let me brief it and explain you in a broad understanding and so that you can understand that. So if you see this particular figure here, this particular slot you cannot measure this particular whole diameter you can measure but if you take a vernier or maybe any particular device you cannot measure this lot because this is a part of this particular feature which is projected outside but this particular internal diameter this you can measure as well as this length of this particular hub you can also measure this thickness also you can measure but you can measure this by interpreting different dimensions but this is not a feature let me explain you in a better way so if you see this particular figure this particular diameter you can measure because this is a external feature external feature is maybe a diameter or maybe a thickness or any kind but what about this L shape this particular shape you cannot measure directly but you can interpret it so not a size dimension since there are no opposite points so primarily you need to have a opposite points for measuring your dimensions or interpreting it. So just like that here you can see this particular portion here you can see how to use the internal part or maybe a external part how to measure it. So different ways are there if you see this particular block here the internal slot width you can measure by using this vernier and this is a feature. So let me still explain this. So this is one cylindrical or spherical surface or a set of two opposed element. So like that you have to first understand the FOS feature of size that two opposed element. So if you see this particular side and the back of that there is an opposed element. So where you can measure directly the thickness but what about this particular slot this is not a FOS so what about this internal hole of course you can measure it what about this hole you can measure it what about this thickness you can measure it what about this thickness you have it to oppose side maybe the parallel surface or maybe you can say set of two opposed element maybe surfaces or maybe a spherical surface or maybe a cylindrical surface so feature of size are features which do have diameter or thickness. They may be cylinders such as shafts, hole. They may also have slots in a rectangular format or maybe to oppose surface that is flat parts where two parallel flat surfaces are considered to form a single feature. So feature of size is primarily driven by interpreting in this way.